Okay, so I'm going to do the coral one. So I've got my paint mixed up ready. I'm not sure if I've got the measurements right, but let's have a look. Yeah, that'll do. That's a bit red and put a bit more yellow in there. Right, that should be better. So again, go around the edges. Squeeze it out and then just round around the edges. So you don't want any gaps of the scarf. You don't want any white on the edges. You want to make sure that all the corners and the edges are completely painted. The gaps can be in the centre of the scarf, but not the edges, if that makes sense. Just because it looks a bit weird like that. So get your edges and your corners and then work your way in. So just sweep up and down, get it even, squeeze it out, and you just you just sort of swipe in it. It's it, although it's silk, it's not fragile. It's quite a strong fabric, really. So you don't have to be too genteel with it. Okay, so this is almost there, just a bit more in the middle, just to make sure that you've got your tone, it doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry about perfect, they never ever come out exactly the same and that's absolutely fine, you don't mind that. Okay, that's about right. So, I've got little spaces show you so you can see it's not you know completely it's patchy you want it a bit patchy and that's that's okay to be a bit patchy so you got your little white spaces can you see that little one there and that one there I've got one there it's a bit saturated in the middle but it's um it is See, it's dripping on the floor. So what I'm going to do is just take my tissue and just underneath, just take a little bit out, just to, just to blot it, really. It doesn't matter. It's just it just takes such a long time to dry and it makes a mess of your floor. So that's why I do that. Now for the second part, then for this coral, I've done the coral colour and then I take my secondary colour just take the water out it's just no water just a little bit of red paintbrush just blot my paintbrush on some tissue just so it's not completely soaking wet it's just damp and then just dip it in and then we're filling in those little gaps again and I sort of do squiggles it's just like colouring in that's all it is scribbles and colouring in that technical but again just making sure that if you've got a load of squiggles this side you need a load of squiggles that side to balance it out so again you don't have to be perfect it's not a precise science it's just kind of a balancing act really so filling in the gaps and just squiggling so that by the time you've done this red there's no more little white spaces you filled them in and then just squiggled We've got the squiggles on, then we want to do the splatters. So in a little bit more paint. And then just splatter. Up and down like that. So then you've got you can see now the squiggles look a bit too like painted on at the moment but as it dries they'll just fade into the into the kind of coral colour and just spread so what you end up with is less of less definition you won't see the spots it will be really blended because it's still wet it's going to dry and spread into each other 
So don't worry about how it looks now because that will look different when it's dry, if that makes more sense. So then you've got your base colour, which is your coral in this particular case. Then in your, then you've got your secondary colour, which is the Hermes red. And then the third stage of this one is the salt water. So just like with the blue one, we're doing a primary colour, a secondary colour, and then the salt splatters on top. And down, and that's it. Then you've got your coral. So all of the scarves are the same technique. You've got your primary colour, your secondary colour, and then your salt. There are a couple of scarves that have got two secondary colours. Um, but I'll show you them as well. So that's what that looks like. Now look, that's really pulled down there. You can see I've got a bit of a puddle going on. So get my tissue and just let me see, show you underneath. Just wipe that up. Just dab it. Probably my brush was a bit, my sponge was a bit too wet. Never mind. Or I didn't squeeze it out enough. But you'll get the hang of it. So that's your coral.